Welcome back to my personal channel. I had a rather interesting idea for a video because, you know, I don't want to only upload music to this channel. It's just anything I can think of that's not um, part of the history of gaming project. Um, and I was thinking I would rank every season of Doctor Who as I am one of the people who have seen all of them. Although, Many of them I may not remember very well. Okay. Season 1 from 1963. Um, let's see. Another Earth the Child is really good. I'm not going to go through every episode. Um, uh, the first half of The Sense Rights, I was just watching it. The Sense Rights is so disappointing because the first half is really good. And then the second half is political snooze fest N not my words i think that's from um just look up every hartnell story ranked in 10 words it's basically that it's that that video that's where that comes from um let's see i think yeah i don't think there's like a god-awful story but I don't think it particularly, there's any, there's nothing that particularly stands out except for, like, the first episode. Season 2, unfortunately, has the web planet. So, I guess that brings it down. Um, there's quite a few mid-stories, but I think other than the web planet, none of them are really that bad. Uh, the space, the space museum's really good. Um... I do quite like the Romans. It's very good comedy. So I'm going to say A tier as well because it has a higher ceiling than season one, but also a lower floor. Season three. Um, I think it has a lot of really good stories that where the idea outweighs the execution, such as the gunfighters. And, um, I think there's, hmm. the arc, while it was good, it was, like, its plot was kind of dumb with Dodo getting a cold. Um, hmm, I'm gonna put it in B, because, actually, I'm gonna add a row below. For F. I doubt there will be very many, but, you know. Um, season 4. This is easily A tier. It's a shame that there's... I don't think there's a single fully recovered story in this. In season 4. But, um, I think the first two stories are First Doctor... And in the end of the Tenth Planet, First Doctor Regenerates, we have the Second Doctor, which I think he's really good right right from the beginning. I think Power of the Daleks is really good. Um, but Season 5 is probably my favorite season of Doctor Who. Um, you have Tomb of the Cybermen. You have, I don't know, I think every... every story there is at least an 8 out of 10. Um, and season 6 has a couple of not great stories. Um, see, the Crotons, the Dominators, Space Pirates, Seeds here. Like, there are some, there's some great stuff in season 6, but it's not the whole thing. Season 7, ah, I feel like all the stories in it, I think, other than Spearhead from Space, all the stories are like seven parts long, so it's not the most bingeable. But that doesn't mean it's bad. I think it's quite good. Um, I really like Inferno. But... Yeah, I'll say B. Season 8, they used the Master in every... 
um, in every story, every episode. Um, and I think that kind of, like, the repetitiveness brings it down, although I do really like Roger Delgado's portrayal of the Master. So, I'm gonna put this in, also in B tier. Season 9, this was 1972. Um, I remember liking Day of the Daleks, although it seems a lot of people don't like it very much. Um, and, uh... Time Monster drags, but parts of it are very good. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it in B. Season 10, the Doctor finally um, is lifted from exile. Is given the TARDIS back. And um, I think, let's see, I think the three Doctors, very good. Um, first anniversary story. Um, but I don't remember. I think, mm, A, because there's nothing like that strikes out to me as like, uh, as like an eh uh story. Oh yeah, the Green Death was here. Yeah, yeah, A tier, definitely. Season 11. This is the first appearance of Sarah Jane. But I feel like she didn't, she, she had a, her her dynamic with three was not as good as with four, so, but, B. I think Invasion of the Dinosaurs is pretty goofy in a good way. Um, same with Planet of the Spiders, although it's quite long. But that chase scene in the middle of it is so funny. And the Hoobobile, oh, man, that's actually, I'm moving it up, man. Season 12, oh, this was the first season of Classic Who I ever watched, um, because I heard great things about 4, and gotta say, it's very memorable, but I think Genesis of the Daleks is a big standout, um, yeah, I think, I'm trying to think of any other story, yeah, all the other stories are mid, but... Genesis of the Daleks is top tier. Season 13. Hmm. I think a lot of the stories are very good, but... No top tier stories. But I'm going to put it in B. Season 14. The last, this was... No, this was the last one with Sarah Jane. Um... Hmm. I think season 14 was quite good. I would put it in A. Season 15. Hmm. I think... Season 15 was probably the best of The Fourth Doctor. Um, Season 16... Despite the fact that it had an overarching plot, which was very new for the time. I don't think it was top tier, but it is quite good. Season 17, I feel like a lot of people don't like season 17, and I don't quite know why. Um, like, I think the Hordes of Naimon is really funny. Like, it's very, like, I don't know. I just watched it recently. But, um... Uh, my dreams of conquest. I really like season 17. I don't know why other people don't like it. Season 18. I get why people don't like it. Um, it's boring. It's really boring. And most of it takes place in another universe called E-Space. So like the main universe is N-Space and it takes place in E-Space. But they don't do anything interesting with it. So there's no point. And it taking place in a parallel world. Because at least David Tennant's era did something interesting. Season 19. Now, I really like season 19. And I don't quite know why. So I would actually put it in S tier. I think it's very, very good. 
season 20, pretty mid actually, uh, let's start, steep drop off, steep drop off from season 19, but season 21, oh, wait, Resurrection was at the end of season 20, not the beginning of season 21, so I think that alone puts it up to, to A. Um, season 21, or not to A, to B. Season 21 is an A, definitely. Maybe even S, but not quite. Because there's some less than fantastic stories, but season 22. I, I think it might be B and might be C, actually, but I think it's going to be in B. Season 23. Season 23, The Trial of the Time Lord. Um, I like how they mellowed out Colin Baker's Doctor a little bit more, but... Um, I think its non-linear storytelling does not work very well. It doesn't really feel like an overarching story like it's supposed to be, which is actually why they generally split it up into four different stories. So, um, I'm gonna say, um, B, because it's not mid, like season six is. Well, season six has, like, great, it has the war games, which is fantastic, but it also has the Dominators and the Crotons, so. Uh, season 24. I don't think it's F tier. Mm, do I? I feel like a lot of people would put it in an F tier. And I think that's pretty deserved. Even though there's some things that I like about it. But, eh. Season 25. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna put it in A. Um, and season 26. It's S. By far. Because, like, I think Battlefield is really good. Survival is really good. Ghost Light is, like... A B. I forgot what the fourth one was. Or was there just three? The Curse of Fenric is fantastic. I quite like the Curse of Fenric. It's very, very nice. I like the, like, chess master doctor that they were going for. The TV movie is... It's mid. Like, it's, it's not the worst thing. The best thing about it is definitely Paul McGann's portrayal of the Eighth Doctor, but that alone cannot save it. Season 27, or Series 1 of The Revival. I'm just going to go with the classic numbering. Um, season 27, The Ninth Doctor's entire era. Um, yeah, I think it's A. Season 28. I do not like season 28. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to, to Ten and Rose fans, but I don't know. There's something about it. I just do not like it very much. Season 29. Um, I would say it's B tier, definitely. Like, it's... Um, no, it has some, it has some standouts. Like, the Master Trilogy. The three-part finale. Um, season... 30. Season 30. There's a reason they brought Tennant and David Tennant and Catherine Tate back for the 60th. I mean, there's a reason. Um, let's see. Season 31. Now, a lot of people may not like this. I'm not a big fan of the Matt Smith era. I don't know why. I'm just not a big fan. Um, season, season 31, definitely Smith's best season, um, and I would put it in A. Season 32, I think it's in B, maybe, hmm, maybe C, actually, because there's some really, really mid ones. Some, some even, I would go as far as to say bad. Um, but season 33 may be my least favorite season of Doctor Who. I really hate, 
um, Clara and Eleven's dynamic. I do not like it. I think she's much better with Capaldi, although I do not like Clara that much to begin with. Um, season 34. This season gets a lot of hate, and I know why. Because of the, you know, they, I think it's mostly people who liked Tennant and Smith, and Capaldi isn't bad in season 34. He's just incredibly different, and I think a lot of people don't like that. Um, but personally, I think season 34 is A tier. Season 35 is not the best, personally. I think it's C tier. Um, it's the most Stephen Moffat season. Like, it's, it's, it's all, like, it's a lot of the worst aspects of how he makes story, like, how he sets up seasons and stories and arcs and stuff. And, yeah. I think when Stephen Moffat is doing well, he's fantastic, but... I think there's just a lot of flaws in his writing style that my personal taste, I just personally do not care for. In season 36, probably my favorite of the revival. Um, and I don't quite know why, because the stories themselves are not, they're, they're I, I don't, I can't think of anything that's particularly great. It's just, the overall package, I suppose, I quite like. I like the, you know, the the dynamic between uh, Twelve, Bill, and Nardle. I like probably my favorite TARDIS team, other than Two, Jamie, and Zoe, uh, or Two, Jamie, and Victoria. I just like Second Doctor's era quite a bit. Um, season thirty-seven. Um. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people don't like Whitaker's um, era to begin with, but I don't know. I liked season 37 when I first watched it. I would say it's a B tier. Maybe even A, but not quite. Season 38. It's not as bad as people say it is, but it's still not great. So I'm going to put it in C. Um, and season 39, I have... I saw it once when it came out was two years ago, and I'm pretty sure I didn't finish it, but from what I remember, it was pretty boring. Now, um, time for me to rearrange these until I am satisfied with it. Okay, season 5, 15, 19, 26, 30, and 36 in S. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Season 1, 2, I think season 2 goes down here. Um, three can stay there. Four goes up. Ten also goes up. Eleven goes down. And seven goes up. And eight goes up. And fourteen goes up. Um, twenty goes down. That's quite generous. Six definitely goes up, although the there are just two stories I just do not care for, but I skip them when watching anyway. Um. See, yeah, 16 goes up. I feel like I was super harsh when making this in the first place, but... I'm trying to not have too many long bits of silence where I'm thinking. That's not quite entertaining watch um you know 24 and 33 or series 7 are probably still my least favorite seasons of doctor who although also these tiers are not ordered they're just 
in chronological order per tier. Um, I think season 18 might go up. Yeah, I think that's good. So yeah, that's every Doctor Who season ranked. And I'm excited for season 40, or series 14, or I've heard some people say it might be called season 1 now. Which, sure. But, um, yeah. Shudy Gatwa in the specials. Oh, I wish I could rank the specials. They'd probably go in B, maybe A. But Shudy Gatwa was great in the 60th. I can't, cannot wait to see more of him. He's a very energetic, or er, not energetic. I mean, yes, energetic, but it's not the word I was looking for. Um, captivating personality. And, you know, very excited to see more of him. Great actor. But yeah, that's my list. I hope you enjoyed.